2014, we're still in the very beginnings of our Back to Eden of Garden Adventures that we saw Paul uh, do on the internet. Uh, we've got three, uh, three gardens going all at the same time. This one is at uh, my home. Uh, it's going to end up being about maybe a, a six or seven thousand a square foot garden. I'm just guessing. I haven't I haven't measured it. Uh, we're also going to have a greenhouse over on the other side, and we'll tell you about that in a second. But basically, what we did, uh, we got some uh, paper. We we uh, we you can use recycled newspaper, but uh, on a project this big, it, we just found it easier. We bought some construction paper at the local uh, big box store, right. and we put it put it down 140 feet at a time, three foot wide, and we put that paper down, and we put, originally, we just put uh, wood chips on it. Then, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we found a place that would give us uh, composted uh, horse manure uh -huh. in almost unlimited quantities for $10 a load, wow, no matter what blessing. size load. And so, yeah. uh, now that we have that, what we did here, we put the paper down, we put about uh, three or four inches of horse manure, uh, a composted horse manure, and that was in wood chips, a uh, wood uh, uh, shavings, uh, and it was pretty much composted. Then we put, then we put the covering, uh, the covering over it. Uh, so mo much of the garden is going to be like that. Some of it in the middle, we just got wood chips, and by the time we got the compost, we're just going to spread some of that around on top and uh, kind of hope for the best. This was a garden 30 years ago, but it hasn't been for about the last 25 or 26. And so for all practical purposes, it's been a lawn ever since. Right. Even now it's been a wonderful lawn though. We, because of everything we put in it, all the manure and, and all the organic stuff, I have to mow this um, twice as often as I do all the rest of our, all the rest right. of our yard. So we're starting out with some pretty good ground, but by putting the compost and then by putting the Putting the chips on top, it, it ought to be uh, it ought to ought to be a whole lot better. We're this year we're doing almost everything we're doing. It's the it's uh, we're we're doing it differently because it is the first year. The second year we won't be doing a lot of things that we did this year. For one thing, there won't be any more paper down. Uh, right. uh, for another thing, we're going to have a lot of the organic material already here. Uh, we've lost track, but I think that we've hauled uh, somewhere. Uh, around 200,000 pounds of organic material in the last uh, five weeks. That's Most of it, chips, uh, uh, 40,000 pounds or so of it has been uh, rotted manure. Uh, we found the manure, by the way, in, a, in a, horse, a horse stable, a large horse stable, but I don't think they have a large uh, area around them. And so they compost this, and then they, they need to find something to do with it. And so we're doing them a favor by taking it, but boy, they're sure doing us a, a favor by making it and providing it for us so inexpensive. So if you want to, we'll walk you through the garden and show you what we have uh, and talk to you about their plans here. And so this will probably be a pretty short video. This is the, this is the compost you can see. This hasn't been covered yet. This is still This has still got some heat in it. But uh, but it's but it's good yeah it's yeah. it's good stuff. That's gold for the garden. And we've been hauling it in that in that truck, and we've hauled. We're not sure, but we know it hauls ten thousand pounds or more. But I've got a feeling we're hauling a lot more than that, especially if it's wet. This these are things that uh, on this particular row we just we put this uh, actually right over the right over the lawn, no paper or anything. Okay. We don't recommend that. We only did it on this one row. But what we're going to do here is we're going to put plants in it, then put the paper over the compost around the plants, and then put the wood chips on top. Okay. There's even though it doesn't look like it, there's those are those are probably a foot deep right here of, of just wood chips. So that goes down six inches or more of, of the of the compost. These things. These two rows we actually tilled. We only tilled them once. We don't intend ever to till again. But because it was grass and we're trying to experiment it, we, we tilled them up. Uh, then we put some compost, but we didn't till the compost in 
And so we'll be planting in the compost and then we'll be putting wood chips over it. When we get everything planted, when you look across, the garden's going to be flat, and all you're going to see is the, is, is the wood chip. just been to the nursery and we got lots and lots of plants this year we'll be using mainly plants after this year we won't be we won't be doing plants but we did it because the soil's not cultivated we just put down the paper just put down the wood chips right. in the last 30 days and so the ground is still more lawn than than garden right. and so but after so we're just digging a hole post hole digger putting some compost down there of putting the putting the plant in, and then 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 putting the chips around it, mm -hmm. uh, and watering it in. But they after this year we'll be doing things the way Paul does uh, on the video. Right. He's been our mentor in this. We've never met him. I hope someday to meet him. Uh, the wisdom that the Lord's given him has really uh, stirred me up. We've taken their video. Uh, I pastor a church, Fairhaven Christ Fellowship. And I've never done this before, but I, I asked the church to come in one evening. We had a movie night. And I wanted them to see what he's doing, not just because of, uh, of the how-to garden part, but I've All been right. stirred up by his walk with the Lord and what the Lord's shown him in the gardening. And so that's right. what's caused us to try to follow in his, follow in his footsteps. Here we've got, uh, we've got about, uh, I think, 66 plants. We have some uh, cabbage, we have some uh, uh, broccoli, and we have some Brussels sprouts. I've never grown Brussels sprouts. I only tasted one Brussels sprout one time, so I'm not even sure that's wow. going to be my favorite. But it I just looked, it looked fun to grow, and uh, we're going to be trying lots and lots and lots. 